Okay, so you're going to start by making a dot in the middle of where you want the web to start. And then start to make an octagon shape, or hexagon, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so grab your scissors and start cutting along the lines. Don't cut all the way to the corners, or else you'll just cut a giant circle out of your shirt instead of the design that you want to have. So it should end up like this. Now lay it down flat so you have space to work. Create a triangular shape um, coming from each of the sides pointing into the center. It'll look sort of like a disconnected pizza. <laughs> All right, so you wanna poke holes along that edge to create the thickness of the stripes. Once you do that, grab your scissors and cut from the point all the way to the other edge. And then you just wanna pull on each of them so that you have the perfect little stripes. And you wanna do that for every single one of the triangles. So you're gonna see me do it a few more times. Just cutting across from one edge to the other edge of the triangle. And then pull. And you're going to see me do it one more time. <laughs> but repeat and then stretch them all out so that they, not all of them are going to stretch because of how the fabric is. But you'll get what, you'll get the desired look. So cut across. And then pull all the strips. like this. Now you want to weave them the first strip over the second strip and then pull the second strip from underneath up and let go of the first. Continue to weave like this until you get all the way to the center. And if my explanation is sort of confusing you, I'll link you to a video that will show you better. Uh, and you don't have to just do this once, you can do it two or three times depending on how big or how stretchy your shirt is. And then you want to slip a needle, a pen, a pin, anything through the loop that you have left. And do this to every one of the triangles and slip them all into the same loop. All into the same pin thing. Once you have them all done, you can stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm going to take some string. I'm trying to thicken it up. You could also use a uh, ribbon or yarn and just tie that around the pin that you have or the needle that you're using. Then you should loop the shirt off of the off of the uh, needle that you have, leaving the string that you just tied on. Leave that underneath so they're all going to be looping on top of it. And make sure that the string is long enough so that you don't accidentally pull it out the other end. So once that's done, once that's done, you're going to pull the string out and you should get all the loops right there. And then you just want to pull the string from each side and tie it, pull it as tight as you possibly can so that you get a tiny center and you can push it down to flatten it out. Tie it securely, cut off the extra string, and there you go. And other alterations you can do is cutting off the neckline or you can cut off the bottom hem of the shirt like you'll see me do in a second. There we go. But yeah, so that was my sort of t-shirt DIY. If you want, you could dye it before or after, or you can make more designs. You can make it small, you can make it big, but this is just how I did it. And I hope you guys really...